Looking at the background behind me, you might think that I have finally given up and skipped the country, but the truth of the matter is, we're tucked into a little neighborhood just off of Nolensville Road, right here in Nashville, surrounded by banana trees and other tropical plants in the garden of Richard and Kathy Smith. <laughs> Richard, welcome to Volunteer Gardener. Thank you so much for letting us come and see the garden today. Thank you, thank you for being here. Tell me about this little paradise you've created back here. Oh, Lord. <laughs> well, we started out with uh, four banana trees yeah. that a neighbor down the street gave us, at, and I really didn't want them at the time, and this is, and, and this is the result. This is what four has yeah. turned into. Yes, sir. Cautionary tale. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> so leave them in the ground? No, I, uh, I actually dig, dig them up every year, wow. put them in a plastic bag, put them in my garage, water them about once a month uh -huh. and springtime put them back out right so do you cut them off to a certain level or no no you take the trunks the whole, and everything the all thing. into the garage right. wow that's now a... if they get uh, too big uh -huh. i'll just throw them away and they have little babies on the side right and that's what comes back year. and makes the yes. next generation mm -hmm. Well, I like that. I mean, there are a few that are you know, hardy in our region, but I love the way you have them because they're spaced out. It's almost like a forest of oh, yeah. banana trees. And then you have all of these other interesting tropical and, and, and hardy plants too, but a lot of tropical things just tucked in and around right. um, under the bananas. So I saw some gingers, mm -hmm. some of the butterfly gingers. Uh, tell me about those. Uh, well, they, uh, we started off with just a few plants, uh -huh. and of course they multiply. Right, uh, so like crazy. We have to really cut them back. Cut them back. Yeah, yeah. And they bloom every year. Oh, the fragrance is so good. It's yeah, and you know I have some in my garden, and I leave them out. They will come back. But what I find is that I don't get very many blooms on them, and mm -hmm. I wonder if maybe having them in pots and they're kind of root bound. I just noticed yours were really in full bloom. Right. I would say that's 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 true. That's true. Yeah. What about maintenance on those, uh, just as far as general care? Nothing to Water it. and fertilize? Just water and fertilize. That's it. Yeah. And then when they get too big for their pots, do you unpot them, divide them? I do. Yeah. Cut them up, separate them separate out. Separate them out, them repot to, them, give them to friends. Yeah, my neighbors. <laughs> <Right>? <laughs> Let them do it, yes. Exactly. You guys are really into tropicals. Why, why tropicals? Uh, well, we go to Hawaii about every year. Yeah. <laughs> so not this year. <laughs> this this is Hawaii for us. This is Hawaii yes. for you. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's great. It's uh, it's neat that you can bring that little piece of tropical paradise mm -hmm. home. Now, one other plant that I've noticed in the garden that we cannot miss talking about are these incredible angel trumpets that you have flowering. Right. And they're really in full bloom right now. Right, they are. I started off, I ordered three plants about, goodness gracious, probably 20 years ago. Mm -hmm. And as you'll see, this is what's- Come from those, come from those three yes. plants. But now, probably every year I will take one down and don't plant it again. Uh-huh. So do you divide the little root sprouts that come off of them or do you take cuttings? How do you- I make cuttings, mm -hmm. and we have one over here that, that um, I got two plants that next year they'll be here. They'll be here. And when they get too big, I have to cut them down. Uh -huh. I can't handle them. Right. <laughs> they're right. heavy. Right, because they're also potted, Right. and they go in and out of the garage yes. the way the bananas and some of these other everything tropical things, goes in everything out. goes in and yep. out. Unbelievable. That's, it's, a, that's it's a, a real labor of love. That's a, a lot It's of a fun time, let me tell you, get them in and out. Yeah. It's, so, yeah, we're very good. We enjoy it and it's worth it. Yeah. You also have a really pretty pond here in the garden. Is that something you built yourself? No. No. My wife did that. Oh, your <laughs> wife did that. So Kathy was yeah. out here and, yes. and uh, digging yes. holes and She was digging pond. holes and my daughter and I was what, sitting up there watching her for a while. And I said, how long do you think it's gonna take before we get down there? Didn't take long. <laughs> Didn't take long. And a really interesting plant blooming there next to the pond, that little pink flowered begonia. Uh-huh. Where did that come from? How did it get here to the garden? Her mother had that mm -hmm. at her house. So a little we, pass along plant yeah. that's come from we another generation. Just a little bitty plant and they grow everywhere. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, where they're happy, they'll yes. spread themselves around and- They uh, love the moisture. Another plant that I noticed as we were walking through your garden and this might be another sign that you love Hawaii, uh, is a pineapple plant that actually has some fruit on it. Right. So uh, how does that process work? 
Well, that started, my wife does that, uh -huh. that part of it. Yeah. And she's got one plant and she plants it and. After a certain period of time. Right. And it's another one we take in and out. Take in so, and out every yeah. every winter because obviously it won't right. live over the winter here. We don't know how big it's going to get yet, but yeah, it's good. Getting and with there. with enough age, then it will flower and hope set so. a pineapple, and hopefully you'll That's have a little we're... pineapple to eat, maybe two. I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> also, uh, the tree fern, that does that go in and out, or is that yes. something that yes. you just in and out, in and out. So everything that's in everything a pot. Everything that's here, everything right. that's in a pot gets carried into the garage. Yeah. I love that tree fern. It also just gives such a you know architectural element along with the bananas and those kinds of things. And it takes less maintenance than anything. Yeah. All I gotta do is water. Just water it. Yeah. yeah. You also have some really pretty garden ornaments and yard art, as we say. <laughs> uh, and and sometimes that gets a negative connotation, but I love I love yard decoration. Uh -huh. So is there anything particularly uh, that you guys have that you really love that's special to you? Well, my wife has got a bottle tree. Mm -hmm. And she's collected them and collected them. And it's unique. Found a tree trunk. <laughs> yes. It looks like to me and, and just, just limbed it off. Hang them right on and there. And hang them right, right. on the, the Different tree. Different colors. It's a great way to do it. Yep. As I was walking up the driveway, I noticed a, a unique vine over to the side that looks to me like a muscadine. That's correct. Yeah. And uh, it actually has some ripe fruit on it right now yes it does and something obviously that you've started and grown here right that's and, uh probably about 15 years old it took a long time before they ever matured yeah but once they did then oh, you get oh, some muscadines every yes. year nothing it, like a good muscadine muscadine jelly well do you eat them fresh <laughs> fresh mostly fresh <laughs> one at a time don't blame you <laughs> don't blame you yes. at all I want to thank you and Kathy for allowing us to uh, visit today and see your little piece of tropical paradise. It has been a pleasure and obviously is a labor of love. We're glad to share it with you and thank you for coming. Appreciate it. For inspiring garden tours, growing tips, and garden projects, visit our website at volunteergardener.org or on YouTube at the Volunteer Gardener channel and like us on Facebook.